Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to a very wet and horrible and dank UK. Now behind me is my Porsche 718 Boxster GTS. I'm definitely not gonna be taking it out for a drive with the roof down today, but I do love that car very, very much. But far be it from me to criticize the engineering geniuses that work at Porsche, but that car, in my opinion, has a design flaw. And in this box, is the solution to that design flaw. And apparently it's so easy, I'm even gonna be able to do it myself. Now, let's start the video at the front of the car. I need to say that this car is not clean at all. I've been away for the last two weeks. It's been sat under the barn. It's got lots of dust. And then literally the day before I went away, we drove to the Cotswolds for the weekend and the car is absolutely filthy. But I didn't want to clean it because I want the car at the front to be as dry as possible. So what is this design flaw exactly? I don't say it's so much of a design flaw as I just think it's a weakness. And that is the front of the car is open for the radiators and intercoolers and so on. And that's fine, but the problem is you get stuff going in there. And in, in the summer, it's not so noticeable. When I was on drive tour in, uh, in Spain and France, you know, you'd get dust and so on in there. But in the UK, as soon as autumn's come along, when we drove to the Cotswolds the other week, by the time I got to our destination, the front of the car was literally full of leaves and you end up getting your hand in there. And there's even now we've driven back, there's leaves and dust and all kinds of things in there. Plus you've got nothing to stop stones from literally going straight into the radiators. So what's in this box is from a company called Zunsport. Um, and one of you guys actually pointed me in their direction and said, have you, have you seen the grills that Zunsport do for Porsche? So I got in touch with Zunsport and they said, you know, we'll send you out a set of grills. Um, they're so easy that you can fit them yourself and we'll give your followers a discount code. So the set of grills that I'm fitting today, they're about 330 pounds. I'll put links in the description below, but using the code PED15, you can get 15% off. But before I even start to think about fitting these, I want to clean up the front of the car because it's really quite minging in there. So it's dry, I'm gonna get out my Hoover, pull out all the leaves, get it as clean as possible, and then apparently these are quite easy to fit. So if we take a close look inside that left-hand aperture, it's not, that one's not too bad actually. And then this main one down here, this is the problem. You can see all of the bits of leaves, general detritus from the road. If you leave that in there too long, then as the leaves decompose, it can damage the radiator. You can also see, even just on that, that radius there, you can see some damage from stones and so on. And then if I come down on the right hand one, inside here, you can see how dirty the car is. Look, you can see some leaves all the way in the corner. So what I'm gonna do is just try and dislodge as much of this as I can, get the vacuum cleaner in there, try and hoover out some of it, and then it will be as clean as I can before I actually put the covers on. So just starting off in this one, I'm just gonna grab as much as I can with my hands. Now I know I've got loads of car detailing experts on the channel, um, so anybody who is one of those, then please, you know, basically constructive feedback, please. This is not my profession. I'm just dislodging as much of this dust and stuff as I can, and then I'll get the vacuum cleaner in. Uh, now the whole front end of this car is um, PPF, so, um, although that, actually that bit there is just plastic, so the PPF is here, this is black PPF. So I just wanna dislodge that um, as much as I can, and then that's not so bad. This one here, what have I got down here? Look, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> and I didn't think that was bad, look at that. That's grass, that's bits of all kinds of stuff in there. <sighs> that's coming out here, so the the grill pack I've got is going to do this big grill here, the two big ones on the top, and then the bottom bit as well. And then, oh my days. <laughs> this one's bad. <sighs> it's 
Tea. Minging. Absolutely minging. Still, the problem is the dust and the you know, this is a two-year-old car, so it's got it's got stuff on there from a lot of driving. I'm not going to get it perfectly clean by any means, but I think it's just getting it as as clean as it can be. Which I think it's pretty much there, to be honest. A bit more hoovering, although it's not a Hoover; it's a Dyson. But you know what I mean. Now that isn't too bad, I don't think. Now what I'm going to do, because the grill's going to kind of come down where the silver finishes, this plastic trim behind is going to be sat behind the grill. So I'm just going to wipe that down and give it a clean. When the grills are removable, it's not like it's a permanent thing. So if I need to get them off for further cleaning, because they're not also, the, you don't want them to be too restrictive because you want good airflow into the radiators for cooling. but um, so you can, once they're fitted, you can quite easily take them off. Um, but I want them, the front of the car to be as reasonably clean as possible. It's getting detailed tomorrow anyway, so um, once it's done, they can do that. Now, with this cloth, I'm just going to clean the plastics, plastic trim in there. Um, I didn't want to use too damp, you know, spray a jet washer in here. Um, but that should just give it a bit of a clean. And it's only plastic before anybody starts moaning about damaging the paint. This bit's PPF'd anyway. That's better. And then this bit round here is a bit of a case of getting your hand in there. Okay. That. Oh, it's much better. Okay, so what have we got in the box? So I guess first thing to say about Zunsport, if you go on their website, they do grills for lots of different types of manufacturers. They don't just specifically do uh, Porsche, um, but that is the main grill that's gonna go on the, the front. We can kind of see it. So I've gone for the black option. They do do a chrome option as well, but because the front of the car's got so much black, I thought that would look really, really smart. Um, so I'm just going to put that down gently on there uh, and then the other bits we've got in. So that's the main piece. We've then got three other pieces um, in here. Uh, basically one, one for the two top bits and then these are the two bottom bits. Um, and then there's your instructions. Um, so on, on here, if I kind of show you, there are it's a little clips, you can probably just see it just there. And there's only one on either side. So you go in and then that just hooks on the back of the, of the trim and that should just sit quite nicely in there. Uh, now, as I said, the front of this car's PPF'd. They recommend that, especially with these little clips, you just put some masking tape on the bodywork, which I'm gonna do. And then you just use a flat headed screwdriver just to push the, you put the clip in one side, which is relatively straightforward, apparently find out in a minute uh, and then you just bend the the trim slightly and then clip it in so let's give that a go we'll we'll fit this one first i think uh because it it looks like it's the most pliable and maybe the easier one and then we'll we'll have a go on each side what can possibly go wrong I'll tell you what it's so much cleaner in there so that's gonna sit like that just gonna just Fiddle around with it and see. That's on. Is that in? That in like that, and then, oh, I get you. There's that. Just push that clip behind the bodywork.
Hey. That's it. In. That was easy. Super easy. As I said, the that looks really smart. Now I have a feeling that's gonna be the most <laughs> that's gonna be the most straightforward one. But straight away I like that look. It's it's clipped in nicely, it ain't going anywhere. It's got like a, a bow or a curve to it that comes uh, kind of from here, just on the edge of the plastic trim and then goes back again, but it's not, you can't get at it from underneath, unfortunately. So you just need to make sure it's, maybe with this, just pull it, it ain't coming anywhere. Smart, All right. Let's try the other one, shall we? I think you'll agree, that looks really really smart you can kind of see if i go up here maybe a slight bow in the middle and then back but it fits really nicely clipped in place feels really secure you can't see the radiator anymore it just looks so much better i have a feeling that these next two pieces are going to be a little bit more tricky they both kind of go in to the side and then you've got the retaining clips as the centerpiece but I think that because they're a little bit smaller they're not quite as pliable so this one is literally a case now I'm going to go for the bottom one first just because it gives me I can get my hands in there for a start um, and then just gently put that into as I said not having or well, having PPF on here helps a lot with the whole That's there. Just trying to get the clip to locate in there. Do that and then I think it's a bit of a faff. <laughs> Try and get this one in. This is not. Oh, here we go. Could be. That one went on really easy compared with the bottom one. Just clips in there, clips on there, those clips are okay, I think. Just double check. Cool. Let's have a look at what that looks like. How much better does that look? Really nice. Give this one a go. It should be easier the second time around. That's the theory, anyway. That's in place there. This one's definitely the trickiest of the lot. Just getting it in. You want to get it located as far that side as possible. And then, as I said, you. actually. Look at that. Didn't take long at all that one. And this one. So I think the trick the trick with this one is to not not get it all the way in there. It kind of sits just behind this little detail here. There's you can you can feel it kind of do that and that's that's the 
form that sits behind there. So it's just clipping it in behind there. Again, be super careful of your paintwork. I'm, I'm really trusting my PPF here. I haven't, I'm gonna get some comments here about not using masking tape. I've just gone for the PPF because the masking tape, I did try a little bit off camera and just found that it, it just got in the way uh, and I trust my PPF so much. <laughs> um, but it's each to their own preference, I guess. And then that kind of sits in, in here. If I just do that, just gently does it. That's now located there and this should just push that way a little bit. Just to, that's that. I think that's the two clips in. Just quickly double check. That clips on. Lovely. Get my light out, just have a quick double check. It's a bit dark and so absolutely chucking it down with rain. That clips that lovely. And um, as is that one. That ain't going anywhere. That is that. I am so pleased with the result. I have to say it's just started really raining really really badly <laughs> definitely not going out with the roof down but i'm so pleased with that that's even with filming that's taken me less than an hour i think if you're just doing that on your own with all the prep and making sure it's clean 45 minute job maybe uh, super super easy i think it looks great and certainly it's going to stop the bigger items the big ticket items like leaves and sticks and that kind of stuff going through into the radiators. But I just think it looks really OEM um, and uh, I'm dead chuffed with that. So I'll put the links of Zunsport below. As I said, they do do other manufacturers. They do a range of different grills depending on your make and model. Just go on their website, it's super easy to find what you want. They do different packs as well. As I said, for, the, for this particular car, for the 718 box, do they do the black finish and then they do a chrome finish. Um, they do the side, um, intakes as well but I'm not so fussed about those it was these ones really especially if you're if you're doing things like drive tours or you're following cars it, they you tend to get stuff thrown up from the car in front and, and it just finds its way into the radiators so I hope you enjoyed that I, uh, let me know what you think I'm bound to get some comments about my fitting them um, there's no damage to any of the paintwork um, it was really very very simple straightforward bottom right hand one was probably the trickiest but I think there's a little knack to that. It, they don't go in quite as easily as the bigger ones, uh, but that's all good now. So there you go. As I said, I'll put Zunsport's details below. If you use the discount code PED15, you'll get 15% off any grill sets for your car. Let me know if you fit them, by the way, and how you get on. But for now, I'm gonna go inside and get dry because it is properly, properly horrible. But I'll see you on the next one. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, Please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. You take care. Drive safe. Stay dry. It's minging. Oh, I'm going to get a cup of tea.